Hey, what's good, YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector. Back with another mail week. Eh, probably about a week and a half, actually. Been kind of getting behind on these. I know I posted two or three of them recently, but it's been an accumulation since like May, end of May, I believe. So, but sometimes you don't realize how many of these damn things you buy until you see them pile up. You know, something comes in every day, it seems like. But uh, it's been fun. Um, I'm kind of collecting just, you know, people that I like, my home teams or, you know, home state teams, things like that. So, um, so we'll start off with some baseball. I got a Christian Yelich, uh, 35th anniversary tops. I think this is a tops. Um, it's kind of like a Chrome card actually, but like a mojo type of look to it. But it's got that old, uh, 80. Is it 84? Yeah, 1984 design tops, which are just, it's an awesome design. I love this, uh, these types of cards with the picture and then the, you know, action photo on top. Um, Mike Badano tops chrome when he was with Dallas, but uh, it's a good looking card. It's off center a little bit, but Good looking. I like to look at that. Um, I actually bought this off of Panini. It was a, uh, you know, it's on card, auto, Brooke Lopez <laughs> patch, auto uh, from Crown Royale. So it's out of 99. Sorry for the glare there. Um, I don't know how much I paid for it. I think it was 20 some bucks or something. I can't remember, frankly, but picked it up. Bucks fan. Here's another one I picked up for cheap, a couple dollars. Um, picked up this uh, one out of 10 gold team Chris Paul cards, which is from this year, but you know, he's obviously with the Suns now and tore up the Bucks tonight in the finals game, game one. But cool looking card. I like targeting these low serial numbered cards. Um, I had Kevin Porter Jr. in a choice prison break and I hit the red, I'm sorry. And I hit the blue, yellow, and green. It's not numbered, but um, choice, you know, it's, it's not easy to get the players you're looking for because there's only like, you know, not that many cards in a box, so. Eight cards in a box. I mean, they're all prisms of some sort, but. Um, I got another one of these uh, Juwan Howard and Grant Hill, Bowman's best honor roll cards. Uh, I picked up a set of Provisions, and uh, I thought the Jordan looked pretty good. It's a little off-centered top to bottom, but right to left it looks really nice. Um, the back's off-centered, but I think I got this whole set for like $10, so. But the Rodman looks really good, or I'm sorry, David Robinson. Uh, Magic looks like it's centered really nicely. Carl Malone, same thing, and Patrick Ewing, and Barkley. I mean, this is actually a really good looking set. I mean, a lot of times these things are so, so off center, it's not even funny. Like this one here, I just have sitting over here, but I mean, look at this shit, you know? So, it's not bad. When you see these that are nicely centered and it's a player you like, you know, I would suggest you look at picking it up because there's not that many Nice ones out there, I don't think. Um, guy threw this in as a freebie. It's a Mojo beam. Lillard, not numbered. Um, I'm just gonna flip through these Christian Wood cards because I got tons of them here. Uh, there's like seven cards in this. These Pulsar Prisms I just love. Um, one, two, I had a couple of breaks, I was Christian Wood, so I got a bunch of uh, silvers, four or five of those, uh, a couple of hypers, which look pretty good, uh, some pinks, 
Cracked Ice, uh, Ruby Waves, and I'm just bidding on auctions that, that look really, really nicely centered, or, you know, a lot of the times they just come in a break that I'm in. Uh, here's a red, which is out of $2.99. Add my collection of those. Uh, red Prism Fast Break out of 125 um, I had him in a break of that same Kevin Porter one. So I got his choice. Blue, yellow, and green. It's off-centered. Um, but uh, there's not many of these out there for sale yet. Um, some contenders. I got this bronze parallel. Uh, this one's out of 249. Playoff ticket. Semi final ticket out of 99. Um, I got some revolutions here. This is the groove. Little circles. Um, this one here is the lava. Parallel. Uh, I got a couple of these, which are the fractal ones. They're not numbered, I don't think. Look really neat though. Um, and I bought one of this Celestial out of 99. Uh, a couple impeccables. Um, I think I'm done trying to get these unless it's a super low number. And these are at a 35, but um, you know the corners just get so banged up on these damn cards. You know, you just look at the whiteness on the edges and stuff. I just these thicker cards are, you know, they don't seem to hold up as well because they're just, you know. One, they obviously they weigh more, so they probably get banged around a lot more than a regular size card. But um, picked them up. Rockets jerseys, and then this one here is an encased out of '99. Um, it's nice when they're white all the way around. That way, you know the borders anyway, so you don't really see any issues with those. But um, got that. Uh, I picked up this one here, which is a uh, number two out of two. It says rookie player cap, so it's like a back of a baseball cap. Running Rebels. Kind of neat. And then here are some ones that I think are worth grading at some point. Um, Dennis Rodman, Crusade, from Excalibur. This is the camo, it's not numbered. Uh, Brooke Lopez, number four out of 10. Certified. Uh, here's another Jordan Pro Visions that I got, which I think looks pretty good. It's definitely off center, top to bottom, uh, left to right, maybe a hair or two, but um, overall it looks pretty good. Here's a Dave Robinson Rookie Sensation I picked up, which looks really nice. The back looks centered really, really well. Uh, the front, not so much, but. What I got, what I liked about it was the edges. There's no real issues. A little tiny nick there, but a little white spot on the corner, on the bottom. But other than that, I just love these blue bordered um, rookie sensation cards. Uh, I picked up this Giannis Blue Select Prism. Um, it's numbered out of 249. Got a good deal on it. Second year card select, looks good. Uh, Rodman Red out of 299. Rodman Purple Cracked Ice out of 175. 
brought in blue fast brake out of 175, red fast brake out of 125, and then here's some Christian Wood pickups as well. Um, so rated rookie, I got two, the regular version, and then I picked up this hollow, and it looks really nice. Um, it's off centered, pushed to the to the right. Um, but otherwise everything looks really nice on it on um, the corners and the edges and everything um, obviously the back is not centered well but there's not a lot of issues on the edges or corners at all so I think it's got a good shot at getting a nine most likely got a little bit of a ding on the corner on this corner but otherwise it looks pretty good Maybe it maybe gets an eight, I'm not sure, but this is numbered out of uh, 200 or 199. So didn't have a hollow yet, so I picked it up. Uh, here's a silver hoops premium. Uh, finally got one of these, this is a blue wave. Not numbered, but um, not easy to find. Here's an NBA Hoops. I don't know what this is called. It's like a blue and red refractor type of thing. No, we're not a 99. Um, here's a blue, I think it's a T-Mall blue wave. Off-centered a hair. Not numbered. But I think these come these are from the Asia Asian boxes. Red, really nice one here, out of 299. Actually, it's 299 out of 299. Uh, blue, out of 199. Blue, fast break out of 175. Red, fast break out of 125. Got a mojo, cheap too. Um, these are out of 25, but yeah, I just love these Mojo cards on this year's Prism. 21 out of 25. Uh, green Cracked Ice. I think this is the first one I've seen on eBay, so I picked it up. Not numbered, but I needed it for my Rainbow Chase. Uh, here's another Choice. This one's better looking than that other one I got. Um, I got two white sparkles. This one here looks really nice. Um, it's centered really well. It's pushed down to the bottom. But um, other than that, right to left looks good. Overall presentation looks really nice. This one here is definitely pushed to the right. A little bit but um, yeah I needed to get those here's a well, I got two of these actually nope sorry three <laughs> so I have three certified uh, numbered out of ten so I got number six nine and ten out of ten now look really really good I got two Donruss, I don't know if these are called Mojos or what, but I got number nine out of 10 and number 10 out of 10. They both look really nice. Uh, picked up this uh, season ticket, which is number, number eight out of 10. Got a really good deal on that one, surprisingly. And I got this gold Mojo um, Hoops Premium, which is like perfect condition. Um, this is number three out of 10. So yeah, this one looks great. And then here are the graded cards I picked up. So I picked up this 101 uh, Devin Funches. This is like a hats off signature. So that's like the back of the band on, the, on a baseball cap uh, on card auto. 
So it's a nine Beckett. Basically a half a point away from a 9.5. And it's got a 10 on the autograph. So really good grade for a 101. Now we just need Aaron Rodgers to play for the Packers. Um, I got this uh, Christian Wood 9.5, Raider Rookie, Beckett. Uh, I got this Christian Wood, uh, Celestial Mint 9, uh, Spectra. Really pretty card. I like that tie-dye look. So this is on 99. Real thick slabs on these. Because of that card. Uh, I picked up this Kevin Garnett Mint 9 Refractor Honor Roll. Bowman's Best. Um, there are no 10s. There's none higher. So this is the best grade you can get in this one so far. And that's why I picked it up. Check out the pop reports and stuff and make sure that I'm getting stuff that's low pop on this stuff. And uh, last one I got here is a Giannis Silver Prism Select 2014 Mint 9. Um, I think I got a Mint 9 because it's got a little tiny dimple over here in there on both sides here. Other than that, it looks really, really nice. You know, centered perfectly from the looks of it. But yeah, super cool looking card. So that's it for this mail week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys got any questions, please leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. Um, also, please subscribe if you have not yet. I would appreciate that. Uh, give that video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and then hit that bell for notifications when I drop new videos and we'll see you in the next one. Later.